Hey guys, wanted to show y'all this Briefton Spiralizer that I received to review. This is what it looks like. It's a vertical standing one. It comes with a little tiny bowl, clear bowl on the bottom. It has these little suction cups on the bottom to help keep it stable and stuck onto the counter. So you kind of just press on on the counter so it won't move. I'm going to use some zucchini. I cut it up. There is a stick it on here stick it like this and it actually has three different I mean sorry four different settings blades that you can use so you just kind of stick it on there this is on setting one so I'm going to show you what these look like okay, this is setting one all right I'm going to show you setting two it's actually really easy to use. You can use it with all kinds of vegetables and fruits, uh, potatoes, apples. These came out a little more spirally. Similar to the first one, but not exactly the same. I'll show you what number three does. I love spiralizing. I do this every day, actually. You can eat them raw, you can eat them cooked. It's a really good way to get some additional fruits and veggies into your diet. These are a little thinner. And then my favorite, number four, they're more like spaghetti noodles. These I love. Sometimes I mix them with pasta for my family and sometimes I eat them just by themselves. See how they're really thin? It's really easy to use once you get the hang of it. It comes in um, a few different pieces and it's easy to put together. And you can create some really cool meals with it. It's a lot of fun. My son actually loves watching me do it. He thinks it's really cool. It kind of gets him eating more vegetables too. But yeah, see, like I guess it's really easy. You just kind of Make sure the vegetable or fruit is somewhat flat before you place it on there, and then you just kind of spin it and let the blades do their job. Very cool product. I love it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's fun. And I will place a link to it underneath this video. See these noodles? They're so cool. You can actually cook them on the stove. Um, you can saute them, or you can also, you know, put them in a, a pot of water and boil them. However you want to eat them, or just eat them raw, like I love to do, and just make your own sauce. There's so many cool recipes, but let me show you really quickly. This is what it looks like. And these are the blades here. They're really sharp, so... You can clean those with a brush. It comes with a brush to clean it. And here's the little knob. You can tell you kind of just pull it out and turn. And just pop this whole thing into the dishwasher. And then there you go. Hope you like my review. I'll be posting another one soon. Bye, guys.